Hey guys, this is lesson 7, exercise 3H, transpositioning, or transposition rather, of formulas. You see this word transposition, um, it's just a fancy word for change, for changing. So this right here, this is changing of formulas. So sometimes we want to find the value of a variable or a letter or pronumeral that is not the actual subject of the formula itself. Um, so we just rearrange the formula to make uh, another variable the subject, which is what we're going to do in this example here. And this process is called transposing the formula. Now, this is a little um, fact here that says it's not necessarily important nowadays to do this by hand um, because the CAS calculator can do this with a very functional solve function. A very handy function um, but it is still a very useful school skill to know um, and it's saying that when you do a, a SAC or an exam where there's a part where it needs you to transpose a formula and is worth more than one mark you actually have to show the process of how to transpose it okay so yes you can use a cast calculator let's take it the answer but in saying that um, you won't get the full marks that's allocated if it's worth more than one. So, essentially we are no longer solving for x because not all formulas have just the letter x. Um, we're solving, solving for another variable in the equation, but the normal uh, rules will still apply. So this example here, um, I've got it popped on the side there so I can actually show you the example. Uh, we're going to transpose this formula f equals 9 over 5 c plus 32 to make c the subject. Um, if you haven't noticed, this was an example uh, that we did previously to talk about Fahrenheit and Celsius. If you give me a Celsius here, I can give you the corresponding Fahrenheit temperature uh, based on this formula. And this is used in real life. It's not a made up formula, this is used in real life. And then with this to make c the subject, um, we're going to use this formula to calculate the value of the C when the Fahrenheit is given as 212 degrees. Um, we can't do this um, B question here without transposing it first. Okay? So, how do we make C the subject? So essentially what we're going to do, I'll write letter A here. Essentially what we're going to do, we'll write the formula out, F is equal to now. Before I write 9 over 5c, I'm going to write this in a, in a different way. It still equates to the same thing. This right here it can be written as 9c over 5. Okay. Um, same thing. You can't put the c on the bottom. The c is technically on the top. This 9 over 5 is being multiplied by c. Um, I can keep this on the top. I wish to, provided that it is getting multiplied. And then I'm going to add the 32. So I want to get C by itself. So I'm going to look at all the things that are associated with it. Um, and the last thing that's being associated with it is this plus 32. So I want to get rid of this plus 32. So I'm going to subtract 32. And as a result, whatever I do to the right, I also do to the left. So on the left hand side, I'll be left with this F, subtract 32. Um, this plus 32 and minus 32, they get cancelled out to turn into a 0. And what I'll be left with is a 9C over 5. Okay. Um, this is 9 times C divided by 5. So the last thing that's been applied to this uh, new side now is a divide by 5. So to get rid of it, I want to times by 5. So I'm going to times this by 5, this whole thing by 5, to get rid of the divide by 5. And as a result, I also have to times this by 5. Now I'm going to write what I'm doing here. But you have to be careful for this next step. The reason why is because I'm not going to just times by 5 with the F. I'm actually going to also um, multiply this minus 32 by 5. And the best way to show this is 
to put the five in the front, open bracket and do F minus 32, close bracket. This is just saying that all of this here had to be multiplied by five, not just the F, but everything on this left hand side. And the best way to show this is to put these, uh, this F minus 32, uh, these terms into brackets and then have the five on the outside. Because remember, when something is on the outside of the brackets, it's being multiplied by that number. The right hand side, those gets uh, get cancelled out. <clears throat> and we're left with just nine times C. And then the last step, um, get the color again, is we have this nine times C. So the opposite of times by nine is divided by nine. Now notice here, I'm dividing the whole in here by nine as a result of the right hand side being divided by nine they get cancelled out and technically turn into ones because uh, nine divided by nine is one and what i'm left with now i can write this in um, many ways uh, but to keep it consistent so really this seven uh, in this case to keep it consistent let's put the five in front yeah take 32 all over 9 is equal to C. Okay. And this right here is the transposed version, one way of showing it anyways, the transposed version of this formula here. Okay. So if I wanted to get a certain Fahrenheit temperature, given the Celsius temperature, I can plug that in to get the corresponding Fahrenheit, plug in the Celsius. Now, written in the reverse, if I want to find the Celsius degrees and I've been given Fahrenheit, which we'll see in this example here, I can plug this into the new transpose formula of this original one and get the required Celsius. Okay, and that's what we're going to do for the next example. So, B used a rearranged formula, which we have here. To um, to calculate the value of C when the Fahrenheit temperature F is 212. That right there <clears throat> is just a simple substitution. Um, so we're going to find, and I like to attempt to write this out, uh, we're going to find C when the F value in F is equal to 212. Scroll back up again. There it is. So let's just plug this in to drive to one two. Take away three two. Uh, and nine is equal to C. As you can see, this whole left hand side has, has no more letters in it. It's all numbers, meaning it is a, an answer that we can work out. Okay. So what you'll end up with is a given Celsius uh, degree. Um, I'll grab my cl classified calculator, Let's pop this up, and what we'll do here, make sure that doesn't go away. okay. <clears throat> what we'll do here is input this into the calculator um, to get the appropriate C. So five, oh, oops, I the option Let's get five, multiplied by 212 take so away into close bracket all over 9 <clears throat> this is going to be equal to 100 100 yeah well in other words if someone said ooh uh, the Fahrenheit temperature uh, that you have to put the oven on is 212 and you're like oh I don't know that because I only have a Celsius oven Hold on, I've got a trusty formula that I can put this in. The Celsius degrees will give me 100. Okay. Now, I don't have to put the context in only because the question doesn't show that context. It doesn't say answer in degrees Celsius. So I can leave it like this. However, if it did show the relevant symbols and the relevant context, um, you would have to put that degree symbol there or answer in inverted format. Therefore, the Celsius degrees is um, 100. Okay, all the Celsius is 100 degrees. That is the end of lesson seven. Check your log sheet to see what, which questions you need to do. 
and I will see you guys soon. Take care.